Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenna, and today I'm going to show you how to sew a bandana for your dog that will slip over their collar. Um, I'm going to bring two different sizes in this video, so um, I'll show you how to make your own pattern um, from my pattern. Um, one, it will be an extra small size. It will fit, it'll be for my Chihuahua mix, who's about 12 pounds, and the um, large size will fit um, my Labrador. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this project, I got a quarter of fabric. I got this at Joann's, and uh, it's just 100% cotton. And um, here are my patterns. If you want to make your own, this um, <clears throat> is about like an extra small for a small uh, small or extra small dog. Um, anyways, this will be for my Chihuahua. And I'm going to line this up on a fold. Um, the long side is right about five and a half inches. And then the diagonal is about five inches. And uh, this side is right about two, two and a quarter inches and three and a half across the top, which of course will be seven inches once it's all folded out. And the large size for my lab is six inches across the top, again on a fold. And this line is about 10, 10 and a quarter inches. And this side is eight and three quarter inches and four inches up here. So the first step I'm going to do is just uh, lay my fabric out with a fold and I've got each pattern lined up on that fold and I'm going to go ahead and cut around here and around here and get those ready for ironing. Alright, so I've got both of my patterns cut out and I'm going to take them down to the ironing board. I've got both of these on my ironing board now, and I'm going to iron all of the edges um, to do seams. So I'm going to start by doing each of these shorter sides, and um, then we'll do along the bottom, the pointed part. And then last, we will fold this down and make a spot for where you'll slip your um, dog's collar through. All right, so first I'm gonna do quarter inch. I'm gonna do it twice. So I'm gonna do about a quarter inch um, on the side and then another quarter inch so that there is um, no ugly ends hanging out or any fraying that can happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll start to sew. shorter side first and then doing the diagonal I end up with a really nice joint right here that's nice and clean and it's gonna look really nice and lay nice and flat um, when we go ahead and sew it right, so I've got um, all four of these sides ironed and ready to sew I left the top for now I'm going to go up and sew along these four edges. Okay, so here is what we have so far. I've got both of my pieces ironed. And I am going to go ahead and get some black thread on my sewing machine. I think that will look really cute with these. Alright, and then we're going to sew from one side right around to the other. And then we'll go down and do the top.
We are almost done. It's a very quick and easy process. I've almost got two of them already done, so that's cool. So I'm going to go back down to my iron, and <clears throat> I am going to um, do a fold about a quarter of an inch down, and then I'm going to go um, about down to this corner here. Now, um, you're going to want to make sure that you test it with your dog's collar first to make sure that um, your gap here that you have <coughs> will be big enough for your dog's collar to get through. So, um, I have a one inch collar for my um, lab and a tiny little collar for my little dog. So, I'm going to go down and iron these. Alright, so I'm back down at the ironing board and I am going to iron down this top so that we can make kind of a channel for the collar to go through. And I've got my dog's collars um, that I'm gonna use with these so that I can just make sure when I iron that I allow enough space for the collar to fit. So this is for my small dog. So it's right about a quarter of an inch wide, maybe a little more. And this is the collar <clears throat> for my lab, and it's about an inch wide, so I have plenty of space for it. So I'm going to go ahead and iron these, and then we'll finish them up. Alright, so here is where the collar will go through, right here. And I've got enough to sew a line down this edge. you guys I hope that was enjoyable to you I hope that uh, it helped you to make one for your dogs um, kind of a quick to the point tutorial but I figured that it's a very easy project and you probably already know how to sew if you're watching this tutorial so I didn't feel the need to show too much detail or show every single step in great detail. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys the pattern, show you how to make your own pattern, and a quick run through of how I make it and how I do all the hems and all that stuff. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>